Malaysia's top court will begin to hear Najib Razak's final appeal on Thursday as he seeks to overturn his 12-year jail sentence for corruption. But the ex-Prime Minister's calls for a retrial and to submit new evidence have been rejected. This appeal is Najib's last resort to avoid prison and tens of millions of dollars in fines as he seeks to make a return to power. CNA's Afif Arafin with this report. Malaysia's federal court has unanimously refused the request from Najib Razak's team to adjourn the appeal hearing by three to four months and that the appeal will continue as scheduled. Chief Justice Tunku Maimun said the grounds of the request were neither cogent nor reasonable. The Chief Justice said that all parties had been well aware since April that the appeal dates were fixed for August. She said while Najib has the right to change his solicitors, he could not turn around and say that his new lawyers are not not ready to proceed with the hearing of the appeals. The new lawyers too, having accepted the brief, are also not entitled to say they need more time to prepare, knowing fully well that the dates had been fixed in advance, and that the court had previously reminded all of the parties no less than four times that the appeals will proceed as scheduled, notwithstanding the change in solicitors. I am shocked and uh, bitterly disappointed with uh, the decision of the judges uh, not to allow me to adduce uh, additional evidence. I believe uh, the additional evidence will clearly indicate that Justice Nazlan was heavily conflicted. He was very much aware of the 1MDB and SRC transactions and therefore had deep personal knowledge of these two entities. I also believe that the investigation conducted by MECC will also bear this fact. Unfortunately, we have not been able to do so, uh, but I hope in a final appeal, uh, we will be able to show the truth of the matter. Now, observers say the judgment could be passed on August 26, the last day of the hearing itself, given that the federal court only deliberates on points of law and so a decision could be made much faster. Additionally, observers also note that Najib's case has been going on for four years now and the sentence was announced two years ago, meaning that a lot of the court's time and resources had been spent on this case. But there is also a possibility that the court could fix a certain amount of time to deliberate. In any case, whatever the outcome, what this would mean is that there would be greater pressure from Najib's party, AMNO, particularly those from within the court cluster led by Najib as well as AMNO President Ahmad Zaid Hamidi to ask Prime Minister Ismail Sabri to dissolve parliament fast and call for an election. Observers are already expecting polls to happen as soon as the budget is tabled end October. For now, the appeal hearing will resume on Thursday and this really is Najib Razak's final attempt to overturn his conviction of 12 years jail time and a 210 million ringgit fine. Afifa Arafin, CNA, Putrajaya.